This is our first time in Bucharest, even the first time in Romania. Honestly, we weren't sure what to expect on this journey. We decided to just dive in and enjoy everything that comes. And that was great. In two days, we have seen so much of the country's capital that we can say Bucharest is a special place. Good morning everyone! Hello! After our journey to Scotland, we are now here in Romania. We are here in Bucharest, the capital of Romania. Plan for today is uh, to go to the large building, to the Parliament Palace. After that we would like to discover the old town a little bit and plan a coffee break at a cat cafe and also a visit to a natural history museum. And now it's uh, yeah, it's 12 o'clock. We slept a little bit uh, more than usual. We have not so much time for this day, but I think we have to go. We will make yeah. the best of it. This large building is the Palace of the Parliament and it's the heaviest building in the world and um, it's also the second uh, largest administrative building I think after the Pentagon. And this here is the Palace of the Parliament from the other side. I like the eastern part of Europe because um, yeah it looks really different than uh, in Western Europe, so um, in every country um, there are other buildings and so uh, it's really interesting. And this is also Bucharest. I like it when uh, old and new buildings are together in one picture. Here in the old town is also the monastery and um, it's from the 18th century and it's really an oasis in Bucharest. It's a really gorgeous building. They said it's really one of the most beautiful little buildings here in the city. What is it? Sausage and bread with yeah. red cabbage. <laughs> but it's good. And I have the version with cheese olives. and olives. And uh, it's really tasty. Yeah. Yeah, it's fluffy. It's really good. His name is Clyde. Clyde? Yes, this one is Clyde. And he has a brother that is Bonnie. Ah, that's good. Hi, Clyde. And every old building has on top this construction. It's really funny. We are always happy when we find a place to eat that offer local dishes, rather the budget than the fancy ones. 
we found such a place here. Very tasty, I love soups and they have a big variety of soups here. And they are all quite good. And also this uh, palacinta with... Um, it's pancake? Yeah, it's pancake, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pancake with um, pumpkin. This is very tasty. Now we are on a tram on our way to the Arc de Triomphe, <laughs> so not to the one in Paris, but the Bucharest one might also be nice. This year is Bucharest Arc de Triomphe and we like to go on top of this and maybe we have a good view from Bucharest. Let's see. Have a look at this building, it's really interesting. It's an old one and they put something new on top of this. Is it sweet? Yeah, but not too much. Okay. And how is this one? Yes. Yeah? Also good? Nearby we saw a very little, very gorgeous church. It was destroyed by two earthquakes and was fortunately repaired each time. We've been in Bucharest for two days and as often when we travel we can only take a glimpse of the city. But it was so interesting. You can see old buildings sometimes a little destroyed and new modern ones next to each other. This contrast was special. And we like the food, which is usually very hearty in Eastern Europe. So there are some reasons to come back again. But first we have other plans. Our next journey will take us by ferry to Sweden. We are really excited and look forward to you coming along. See you then!